Alright, so this is what we have to go through today. It is a lot, so we're probably gonna go pretty quick, but I'm very, very, very excited. Hey guys, it's Gwyneth and welcome back to my channel. Today is a Shein Fall Haul. I am so excited. I've been waiting forever for this and I'm so bored in my closet and I just wanted to do a full revamp and just have stuff that's a little bit more trendy. I feel like I can accomplish that with the things that I got in this haul. The other thing is I'm working with natural lighting today um, and it's been a little moody and right now it's a little dark. But when I try on the pieces, I'll make sure I have my ring light on just so y'all can see a little bit more detail. First, let's do accessories. So I got this, I got this little necklace duo and I actually got this for, it was selling for a dollar and then I used like a 25% off coupon code. I just use Honey so it just runs the codes and puts the best one for me. And it's not an ad or anything, I just actually use Honey. <laughs> and um, so I was, it gave a discount to everything that I ordered and so I got this for 87 cents. So I guess it'd be 13% off. So I do really like these. They're actually two, they're actually two separate necklaces. Like they each have their own clasps. So you could wear them individually or layer them together like the photo had shown. The next accessory I got was actually this belt. And I have a black belt from Shein that I use all the time and I love it. It's just uh, thinner than this one. It's probably two-thirds the width of this and it's like a circle buckle and it's just more strappy and thin whereas I thought I feel like bigger belts are coming back into style so I just thought might as well grab another one and it has the big square my favorite thing is when it has the holes lined all the way throughout so you don't have to worry about it not being able to fit oh actually it stops just kidding it stops right here then it starts having these plastic or these metal studs so it actually stops right there because I'm curious, hmm, my logic was these kind of belts usually can also be worn up high-waisted, but now that I realize it stops, I don't know, it may not get small enough to be high-waisted, but it still works for regular jeans. Okay, so it was selling for $3 and I paid $2.60. I did get a, another necklace set. And this one, because I feel like chains are kind of coming back. Whoa. So this one's like a layered moment. And oh, these are also individual. So that's pretty cool. So if you don't want to wear them all together, you don't have to. I think these kind of necklaces are just so cool. The ones that are the really thin chains. And then this one is a bit thicker and has like the fake diamonds. And then lastly is like an actual chain. And they're supposed to not be the same length because you're supposed to layer them, but they kind of look the same length. I think the idea is it kind of sits, I'll try them on in a minute so you can actually see how this lays, but I just think it's really cool. I also like that all of these have the option to wear them by themselves because sometimes layered necklaces, they will, like attach them all to the same clasp so you wear them all or not at all <laughs> see so that necklace was originally a dollar and fifty cents to get all three of those and i paid a dollar and thirty cents it's kind of up in the air how much i'll really use these but i had a bunch of masks and i don't know where they went like when i moved i don't know if i put them somewhere or if i lost them i do have two that i use but i had a big collection like i had like 10 of them and i can't find them and for a while I wasn't having to use them because I was vaccinated and it was before the Delta variant, but now that there's the variant, at least in Dallas, they are requiring masks in most places. And so then I purchased these masks and then now it's like people aren't having to wear masks. So I don't know, but I bought them anyways. So I have masks if they're needed. I also just couldn't resist because these are so pretty so they are silk masks well i'm sure they're not real silk because real silk is expensive and they have the little strings on the side to adjust them for your ears and i got four different whoop, 
colors and I just loved that they were neutral. So we have just a white color, a cream, and then a tan, and then a dark brown. And then the best part is they have matching scrunchies to go with the mask. Like I think that's so cool. And I have those little filter things you can put in masks. So I figured I can just put those in there and then either just have the scrunchie on my wrist or actually in my hair and it just matches. And I know masks are like a serious thing, but I kind of like to accessorize with them. Like if I have to wear them, I'm gonna at least try to make it look cute. So I am really excited about those. For that whole eight pack, the four masks and the four matching scrunchies was $5. And then with the discount, I paid $4.33. Pretty good deal. Now I wanted to move on to shoes just because I want to have some of these shoes on when I try on the clothing pieces. So I wanna just go ahead and talk about each of them and how much I paid for them. Shoes were definitely the most expensive things that I bought. I got four pairs of shoes and three of them came in bags and only one came in a shoe box. So I may be late to this trend, but I do think they're pretty cute. Whoa, these are a lot chunkier than I thought they would be. <laughs> Those also look really big. Um, I feel like this looks different than the photo, but I mean, they fit. Okay, I guess the photo looks the same. I guess it just looks very different, but they have a lot of cushion. I actually got these because Karina Wang suggested them and they look cute on her. So maybe I just need to get past the like funky style that I'm not used to wearing. It's just this part looks weird to me. Like, I don't know. Like I feel like this is like sleek and business looking and this kind of reminds me of just like water ropes or something but anyways these were only $18 which I thought was really really impressive you know this is a trend to like wear these with jeans so it looks good when I see it I don't know if it's one of those things that like I won't like how it looks on me but I definitely like it on other people so we'll try these out they package them really well like they put a little thing here to protect the centerpiece and then they put each in a slip which is nice so yeah, I paid, it was $18, and then with the discount, I paid $15.59. Okay, so another pair of shoes that I got is I really wanted some, I'm not exactly sure what they're called, but I call them combat boots. I really wanted a good pair of these. I feel like they're really in style, and I feel like it's hard because, oh my gosh, these are so soft on the inside. They're lined with like fake fur. Oh my gosh, that is so comfortable. I really wanted one that had a buckle and then the lace up, which is really nice. And I wanted one that had a heel, but not one that would be uncomfortable to wear around. So it's nice because it gives you the height, but hopefully it wouldn't be too uncomfortable because the heel is really chunky. But yeah, I'm really excited about these. I got them in a size 39. That reminds me. And for these, they're also a Europe 39. I believe the 39 roughly translated to a seven and a half in US. I'm typically a seven or a seven and a half depending on the shoe. So I just figured I'd go with seven and a half to be on the safer side. I'd rather it be a little big than too small. But yeah, I'm really excited. It's also a thin leather feeling, which some people may like thicker, but for me, I'm fine with the thinner one because I feel like it'll be more breathable and maybe I won't have to like break in the boots. They actually have a bunch of those to choose from. And I think I picked one that had everything I wanted but was a little cheaper. So this one retailed for 30. Other ones I was seeing on their site were about 40 to $45. So I picked these and they were $30. And with the discount, I got them for $25.98. Now these shoes were kind of an impulse buy that I decided on very last minute because I actually didn't realize how many shoes I bought. Here are these. I am very excited about these. They look so much bigger in person though. Like I felt like they looked small on the model, but what size did I get? Does it say on here? 7.5 and it's supposed to look like a fake leather, but I thought the cream color was really pretty. And then I also, I'll show you in a second, but I got the exact same ones, but in black. And I just feel like they're so sleek and I could maybe get away with also wearing these at work. Like if I just had slacks that went over. So you just saw like this. I just think it's fun, sleek. The nude color is just so gorgeous. I feel like it's a great sleek shoe that could go with a lot and it's dressed up, but not too much of a statement. Like I just was really excited about these. So I hope they fit and they're comfortable. Interesting. So these, <laughs> these were $39. 
and with the coupon I ended up paying $33.77 and then the black ones I'm about to show you were $40 and with the coupon I paid $34.64. It's literally the exact same. It's even meant to look like fake textured leather. So I thought between the two of these, if I'm going for like a darker vibe or a lighter, more neutral vibe, I feel like they can kind of just fit either outfit. So I'm really excited about these. I also got these in the same size, the seven and a half. All right, so now I believe we're through all the accessories and shoes. So let's go ahead and dive into the actual clothing pieces, starting with this one that I'm wearing right now. So this one's actually pretty cool because it has two zippers and they zip. Oh, I don't really want to do this because my stomach is not toned, but you can adjust both zipper and you can bring them as close or far away as you want. Since I'm not feeling like showing <laughs> my stomach right now, we'll keep that one down. But my main thing to say is this is such comfortable material. I was shocked, like it is so soft. It has a thick, nice quality feeling to it. It's very stretchy and it's just like not itchy at all. Like it's so comfortable, it moves so well. And I will say these zippers are actually do feel a little bit cheap, like the lining of it. So I don't know if I'd actually move it that much if I were you, but other than that, I'm really impressed with this. I think it hugs really nicely too. So this was $20. You can get it in this shade or like a deep blue shade. So it's $30 now, or sorry, $20. And it was also $20 when I bought it. I say that because sometimes the prices do change. So I wanna let y'all know if it's a different price now than when I bought it. Right now it's the same though, both $20. With my discount, I paid $17.32. And I got this in a size small. Also, there's not really any order to this. I'm just grabbing right off the top of this massive pile I have next to me. Oh, so first was a pair of jeans. And these are some high-waisted, very high-waisted as you can tell, because the crotch is all the way down here. The camera has a hard time picking up the detail of the black but like for the crotch to be down here and up there like that's pretty big difference i wanted to go for more of like a straight leg not super wide but i'm kind of over the skinny jean trend so and i feel like most people are i'm not like <laughs> the way i said that was as if i'm setting the trend of moving from skinny jeans most people aren't and i'm kind of enjoying not having to wear skinny jeans so these i would say more straight leg and yeah, I'm just really excited about these. I hope they fit well because they're really nice just staple in the collection and I hope they'll be flattering because I just feel like high-waisted jeans are so flattering. They're high-waisted straight leg jeans. Huh, I was right, straight leg. I got them in a size extra small. We're retailing for $21 and with the discount, I paid $18.19. This one's really cool because I love this pattern. I forget what it's called. Something that starts with an H or something like that. But it is a long sleeve crop top with V neckline. I really like this print. I feel like this print's really in for fall. And this would actually be really cute with those jeans we just looked at. Hound's tooth. That's what this pattern is called. I got it in a size small and it retails for $5. Isn't that such a good deal? And I paid $4.33. All right guys, so I know this outfit does look a little crazy and I probably wouldn't wear it all like this, but I thought it could show the most of the products in one outfit. So I wanted to start off with the top. So this top is really cute. It is pretty short, but I think since these jeans are so high-waisted, it actually looks pretty cute. I think I would do without this belt though, because I think it is a lot going on, kind of like with the pattern and then the chunky belt, um, which I'll show you that in a second. But here's the belt. The belt's actually pretty nice, and the reason I wanted to put it with this outfit is because this is really high-waisted, and the holes still go far enough that I can wear this belt high-waisted, which is obviously going to be smaller than like where my hips sit. So that's awesome. I'm glad that it can do that. Now that we know that it can do that, let's remove it from the outfit. I think this is a little bit more how I would wear it. Also, I'm not sure if I would wear it with this necklace, but I wanted to show these three necklaces off. I will say this middle, which one is it? This one right here with the fake diamonds, the chain did break in the back. Like when I was pulling it to hook it, half the chain just broke off. Like there's still like three or four holes that the hook can go on, but I lost like half of it. So 
I mean, it is going to be cheap jewelry, so you just have to be careful with it. If I'm being honest, the things... That was my least favorite of the three, so I'm kind of fine with that, but... And I can still wear it as intended. I just really like this bottom one that's like the thin ribbon kind. Um, and then lastly are these shoes. I actually don't know how much I like them with the jeans, but I just kind of wanted to try them on, and I thought of the new shoes. I was between these or the combat boots, but I just think it's really cute. They do have a good heel to them, so you do have a little bit of the heel feeling. Like, I don't know if I would necessarily suggest these if you're going to stand all day, but for times where you just walk around a little bit and sit most of the days, these are great. And they're just so sleek and thin, and they have really good height to them. I feel so tall. Oh, I also forgot to mention the jeans. These are actually super comfortable. The shade of black is really nice, too. And then the straight leg is really cute. So I have no complaints. I think all of this is really great quality and I would definitely keep it in my collection and wear them a bunch. I accidentally bought this tank top twice and it's just a plain black crop tank top. I did buy it twice, but it was only $4. And so I'm thinking if I like it, couldn't it hurt to have two? Cause it wasn't that much and it's a good just basic piece to have in the closet so we'll see if I keep those that one was four dollars I got it in a size small with the discount I paid three dollars and 46 cents okay another thing that's really in right now is tan slacks and I do have some slacks for work but they are a little bit more just a little bit more formal not as casual and I could get away with them and like stick with the trend, but sometimes I like to keep my work clothes separate than like what I would wear out and about. And these are flare, so we'll see how I feel about these. Those are pretty wrinkled, but you have to keep in mind when I try these on that they've been in bags for a long time. So if I like wash them or give them a good steam, it'd be good. It does have pockets, which are nice. It does look pretty see-through. I also really like these because they're very high-waisted as well. If you can't tell, I'm I'm still into the high-waisted trend. I don't know if everyone else is, but I am. <laughs> but that was another thing is my slacks weren't high-waisted, and they're a lot thicker, whereas these are thinner. Hopefully not too thin to where you can see through them, but I do like the idea that they could be more breathable, and the high waist would just make them a little bit more flattering. So those are high-waisted fold pleated pants and they retail for $18 with coupon I paid $15.59 and I got them in the size extra small. Those are also ones that people wear the strappy sandals with so maybe I'll try those with the white sandals I bought. Hi guys so here's another outfit. I try to do the trend where you wear these shoes with the slacks I just, I can't get past these shoes and it's a real bummer because I like the sole of the shoes and the heel, it's just the straps. Like I even went and showed this to Taylor and he agreed that like the straps kind of look like swimming flip flops, like the ones that are made with a different material so they could float if you like lose your flip flop. So I don't, I don't know about those but I do like these slacks and this is the top that I accidentally bought twice and part of me is kind of glad, I think I'll just keep both because it's nice thick straps, it's breathable, it's kind of got like a kind of a light spandex material but it's just so soft and comfortable. I think the neckline is really flattering and I just think this is cute. Also I think this outfit would look cute with like one of these purses. I actually got this from Shein too in a previous haul like maybe like a year ago so I'll link it below if they still have it. I think they do. But I'm pretty sure I paid like less than $10 for this bag. But I like the outfit. I just, I'm sad because I really wanted some shoes to go with this trend. But I just don't know if these are it. These were on sale though, so I don't know if I can return them. Y'all let me know, like what do you honestly think about the straps of these shoes? I just feel like it doesn't match the style and it's a little odd. Oh, we have another pair of jeans. I didn't realize how many jeans I bought and I also didn't realize how many shoes I bought. Which is funny because those are the things that are the most expensive. Oh, this one actually has like a sewn in Shein label. That's interesting. Okay, so these are just a pair of regular wide leg light wash denim. It says I got it in a size 26. 
US 2, European 34. There's no way that these jeans are a 26. Like these have to be like a 23 or something. Cause like I usually wear a 25 and I went up a 26 just to be comfortable. So this is definitely not a 26. It's at best a 24. I'm thinking 23. And it's so tight everywhere, which is a bummer because these are actually pretty cute jeans like here. So yeah, we'll definitely be sending these back. So disappointed. This next one I'm excited about, but I do think it looks different than what I thought I was getting. But it is a pea coat. I believe that's what they're called. Pea coat trench coats. They are so trendy this fall. So I'm very excited to have one in my collection and I got a tan one and I did like it because it cinches at the waist. It's kind of hard to show you guys right now so hopefully the try on portion's a little bit better. I was just surprised about the material. It's very like, um, I don't want to say wool because wool's a lot warmer than this but it's definitely like a kind of rough oh, I forget I have lipstick on but Fuzz is getting on my lips from these packages. But anyways, it's it's kind of a scruffy material. I can't really explain it. And as long as it's got the look I'm going for, I'll be happy. I do really like the detailing of like the gold buttons and it did come with a belt to cinch around the waist. And the pockets are fake. That's a little bit of a bummer, but I'm excited for this jacket. I feel like if it's good quality and I like it, it'll be great for the fall because it's just, people are really loving these kind of coats this year. I just have to be careful though because it doesn't really get cold in Texas. And when I mean cold, I mean like below 80 until like October, which I guess when you're seeing this, it'll be October, but probably really won't be able to wear this till like after Halloween, but you know, I'll try. A lot of people though wear this with like a crop top, like halter top underneath. So I could do that, air it out. Okay, so that retailed for $31. And with the discount, I paid $26.85. And I got it in a size extra small because it did look pretty big on the model and like long. So I didn't think I needed to oversize that. Next item is a pair of blue jeans. And these actually look really blue. These I'm a little bit on the fence about because I actually have gotten, these are also very high-waisted. So here's the crotch and then the top, it's right there. And they have kind of a distressed look right there on the thigh. These I'm on the fence about though is because I've gotten several pairs of jeans from Shein and my only, usually the denim is good, my only complaint is some of them have very rough stitching and it like rubs on your waist and kind of hurts in my opinion. So usually I can only wear them if I like tuck in a shirt into it so I can't feel the seam. But it, it's like all over. It won't just be around your waist. Like even right here with the pockets and the seam going down in the back pockets, like it's really itchy and kind of painful. So I don't, just already feeling that, I just don't know how crazy I'll be about it. They're also more flared at the bottom than I was expecting. I don't know, maybe that's what it looked like in the photo. And then it has these frayed edges on the end. So this one, I think I'd like the look and I, the idea is like it just really elongates your body. So that's kind of why I got it. But if it's not comfortable, I'm kind of over these scratchy seams that half, I'd say about half of Shein's denim has it. I may send it back if I don't like how it feels. They retail for $23 and I paid $19.92 with the coupon and then I got them in a size small. Next item is a white sweater. Guys, Shein is doing awesome with these style sweaters. Like they are so unbelievably soft. Oh, this lighting is looking so it's the same, just super soft, stretchy material. It just makes me so excited because I have definitely had some sweaters before that were kind of itchy. And on the front here, I'm not sure if the camera will pick it up, but there's actually a V that goes down 
the front, which I think would be really flattering when you have it on. But I'm very impressed with the sweaters that I have received in this Shein haul because they feel like $50 sweaters that you would go pick up at an actual boutique. So that's really exciting. Oh, it's actually sold out right now in a white, but that has like a cream off color that is in stock. I will link it regardless in case it comes back in stock. Y'all can still, it may be back in stock by the time this video is up. I got it in a size medium because it did look kind of tight on the model and it retailed for $12. And then with the coupon, I paid $10.39. All right, so as you can tell, these jeans are way, way, way too long um, to the point where I have these huge heels on and it like still hits the ground. So definitely be sending these back. I'm just really bummed because the two denim jeans I got ended up not working. One was too small, these are too long, and the waist is too big. So send these back. Uh, I mean, I am happy with the other pants I bought. It's just I was really looking forward to getting a good pair of denim jeans for fall that weren't skinny jeans. So I am bummed. I think I'm going to return these though and just use it as store credit and just buy, like try to buy some other denim until I find a good pair for the fall. So, but the thing is these shoes, I do really, really like them. Um, I forgot to mention, but so far all the shoes have fit pretty good to size. So I do really like these. These are seven and a halfs. And I think this is a good size. If you're someone who sits in a range, like I said, I'm usually a seven or a seven and a half, go with your higher size. But I wouldn't suggest like going to a size that you don't ever wear. Like I wouldn't say jump a whole size up. Just if you range a little bit, go with the higher end of your normal shoe range. Super cute sweater. I like it a lot. It is so soft and comfortable. I really like the detail of the V right here. I just think this is really cute and it can go with a lot. The idea was that I would probably wear it with denim, but neither of my denims worked out, which is a huge bummer. But this jacket feels pretty good. I'm just sweating in this full outfit right now with a ring light on me. Let me go see in the mirror. Okay, I actually really like this jacket. I think it's tailored really nice. It doesn't look too big on me, but it goes, like it has a good length and stuff, so it's big enough, but not swallowing me. So I actually really like this. I think it'll get a lot of wear. You don't even need the belt to close it though, because it actually has a clear button here to button there, and then this gold button comes through. And then this one's just a decoration button, so it's not like, doesn't actually go through anything so you can have two gold buttons but and like I mentioned these pockets are fake too it's just like a little flap sewn on but I really like the color I think it looks good with the denim so even more reason why I want to hunt down a good denim jean because I just really like the denim white and the coat together oh my gosh is this another black oh well it's pants more pants these aren't jeans though they are like I don't really know how to describe them I'll see the description on the ad but they're basically like sheer cotton pants that come to flare at the ends and these are very high-waisted again crotch is here elastic is up there they do look a little see-through but my hope was that these would just be a comfortable option the color could go with a lot and that they would just really elongate the body was my goal with these okay so they just call them pants which they are, but I just don't know how to describe the material. They're just solid high-rise flare pants. These are ones that people wear sandals with a lot too. They retail for $11 with a coupon. I paid $9.53 and I got them in a size small. Y'all can't really see it because it's literally right here off camera, but I'm building like the mountain of all of these as I open them and it's probably gonna fall any minute. Okay, so with these jeans, they do flare a bit at the end. Um, I'm kind of on the fence about them just because they do touch the ground even when I have a heel on. They are very thin and breathable, which is nice. I just don't know how see-through they are. I may have to go ask Taylor. I do have a sweater tucked in. I also forgot to mention this sweater when I was doing the sit-down portion. So here is a sweater that I had actually last minute... <gasps> no! There's a hole in it! 
No. There is a hole right there. So I guess this will be going back, which is a bummer because I thought it was really cute. Darn. Oh, this one is a sweats set. So they are a pair of joggers, which actually, they don't look super long. Cause like they look long, but the crotch is here. I feel like I have longer legs than that, but we'll see. And it has stretch. Oh, and the drawstring is actual, like actually cinches it. Sometimes I just put those on for looks, but this one does cinch the waist. And it does have pockets. This material is similar to the sweater, so it feels really soft. It's not as soft, it's a little rougher than like these, but still pretty soft. And then it's just a tank top that's supposed to go with it. And I'm just on this kick of neutral tans and browns right now, so I did think that this would look pretty cool. Okay, so these were all petite sizes, I believe. It's the solid crop tank top and jogger set, and I got it in a petite small, but it ranged all the way to a petite extra extra small to a petite large. So there's five sizes and I just got the middle size. And the reason I did that is because it said the waist was a 26, because I didn't want like really tight um, waist on it, especially if it has that elastic. And it looks like it's supposed to sit about an inch above the ankle. So I think as long as you have sneakers on, it should look right. It retailed for $21, and with the coupon, I got it for $18.19. Okay, so the boots probably aren't the best choice with this outfit. <laughs> But I wasn't really sure out of the things I bought what to wear these shoes with. Maybe I could have paired them with the black high-waisted jeans. Maybe I'll try that in a second. But I think I would probably, I don't know, I'll have to do some research on what people wear these with most frequently. Like, I think I noticed people wearing it actually more with shorts and dresses than like pants. But anyways, they're the short or here are the shoes. I actually really like them. The sizing is really good. The heel length is good, it's nice and sturdy. One thing I did notice though is these don't have a zipper, so you really do like deal with the laces of them. But it wasn't too hard because I didn't tighten them, which you can probably tell because they kind of need to be tightened around here. But they were cheaper than the other options for these shoes on the site, so that's probably why, because you don't have the convenience of the zipper in the back. But I'll save some money and just lace up my shoes, that's fine. Um, but yeah, I definitely like these. I think all around the shoes were great. All four pairs. Well, I'm still on the fence about the sandals, but the boots that we got, those have all been great. So, I'm actually going to take these off now to show you all this jogger set. If you're just a little bit more curious, and I feel like these kind of distract from the set. <laughs> so, there are those. So here is the set. It is so comfortable. I really, really like this. The tank top's nice and comfortable. There's actual pockets. This goes up pretty high-waisted, which is just really nice when you're wearing this cropped of a <laughs> shirt. And then the drawstring actually works, like it's not just for show. And then this is also stretchy and has elastic. So all around really nice. Um, it actually comes down to a good length, like right above the ankle, so I can't really complain. I maybe would just throw on some sneakers with this. I do have just some white, plain shoes that I could throw on with it. But I think this is really cute. Like it looks like you kind of put in effort, but you're also still just casual and cozy. So I like this a lot. I also like that the pockets are huge. Ooh, I don't know what this is, but it looks cute. I don't even remember buying this, but it's a really sheer long sleeve. I don't want to say sweater because it's more just like a t-shirt material and it's really see-through, but I'm guessing I just bought it because it's a good basic to have in the closet. Okay, I did buy this. <laughs> I got it in a size small. It's $7, and with the coupon I paid $6.06. So, we'll see. Uh, I'm fine with it. It is really thin. It's just like normal cotton material, so we'll see how it fits. My only concern is it does look pretty see-through, so we'll just have to see when I actually get in it how much it stretches out. Okay, so I just threw this with the sweatpants. Um, I am still a little confused why I bought this, just because I have shirts basically like this already, but 
The one I have is a little bit more of a turtleneck, so this one is a bit calmer of a neck, and it's also a lot thinner. So I guess that could be nice, especially for layering. So Thanks is pretty good. I would return it, but it was only $6, and it's just a good basic piece to have in the collection, so I think I'll keep it. Ooh, this whole two-toned color thing is really coming into style, so of course I got another long sleeve crop, and they have a bunch of different colors, but I really like the tan and brown together. But they also had like dark blue and baby blue, and then like a hot pink and light, like baby pink. So whatever style you're going for, but I'm just really hung up on the fall theme of it all. So this I got in a size small. It retailed for $8, and with the discount, I paid $6.93. Okay, so the model actually wore this shirt with jean shorts. So I just threw on some denim to go with it. I also tried to put those combat boots again. <laughs> but I still don't know how well that's working, but I do like this top. Um, I don't know if these are necessarily the jeans I would want to wear with it, but it's still cute. I'll definitely keep the top. I just have to maybe find a different way to wear it, or at least different pants to wear it with. All right, this next item, oh, this next item is that tank top that I bought two of. So we've already looked at that. This is actually another sweater I forgot to mention when I was doing the sit down portion, but I had actually worn this sweater in the Shein Halloween costume video I uploaded, so definitely go check that out if you haven't already, but I love this sweater. It is so soft and comfortable, and I just love the color. It just screams fall. I feel like brown is also just a really complimentary color for every skin tone. I feel like it kind of goes in and out of being in trend, but I'm happy that brown is kind of trending right now. I'll show y'all. Untucked. It basically just goes right to the waistline. I feel like these kind of sweaters are really in right now. The ones that are tight and lined and just hit right on the waistline. All right, next thing I got. Okay, this looked kind of crazy in the packaging. So I'm hoping when I wear it, it'll look better. But I really wanted a leather jacket, but not a super heavy one. Cause like I mentioned, I live in Texas, so you can't really wear like super warm things for more than like a month or two out of the whole year. So here's the jacket. You can really tell that it's leather, which is fine with me. I don't need it to look like real leather, but it's shorter. I think the idea is that it's supposed to come just sit around the waist. And then a long sleeve, but it is really thin. So that is what I was going for. The detail of the buttons are really nice. They're actual real buttons, which is pretty cool. So yeah, this is just gonna have to be one that I try on to see how I like, cause it doesn't look the best. Just like fold it up, cause it sticks together a lot. I'm hoping it only does that when it's like all folded up and doesn't actually try to stick to each other while I'm wearing it. Also, if you're wondering why I'm putting these back in the bags, it's just because if I do want to return it, you have to keep it with the correct bag. So I'm just trying to do that until I decide what's going to stay and what's going to go. So this jacket I got in a size small, and it was only $21. That's probably why I got it. <laughs> um, so it's $21, and then with the discount, I paid $18.19. Alright, so this jacket does look a little funny from being in the bag and being folded up, but I think as it hangs, all these lines will come out and it'll just sit a little bit better. But I do really like this jacket. I like that it is a really thin pleather because, like I mentioned, I'm from Texas and it's really, really hot. So you definitely have to be careful. There's not many times where you layer in Texas. So when you do, you want it to be kind of thin layers that are going together. So this is really great. I like where it lands at the waist because I feel like you could still wear high-waisted jeans and give your body some shape and not look like a blob. So, cause it is pretty big, like it sits baggy, which is cute, but sometimes you gotta be careful not to kind of take away a lot of shape from your body. So I feel like the high-waisted jeans kind of pull it back into having a good shape. In the final item, I actually meant to show this in the accessories. I'm not sure if I'll try these on for you guys. Maybe I will. But they're actually bras, and it's a set of three, but they have built-in padding, and they're these beautiful colors. And like I said, it came with three of them, so that light grayish blue then this beautiful baby plush pink, and then lastly, just a plain black one. Actually, these were also another recommendation from Karina, and they're just, the material is so soft, and this lining is incredibly soft as well. 
The only thing is that these straps are not adjustable and it was a one size only. Like I couldn't select a different size, but I got all three for, they retailed for $12 for a pack of three. And with the discount, I paid $10.39. All right guys, so that is it for this video. It was very, very long. Thank you for hanging in there. I just get so excited with all of Shein and I just love having an affordable way to just revamp my closet and try out some new styles. So let me know what you guys thought of this video. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed. I also hope you like, comment, and subscribe down below and I will see you in my next one. Bye. I feel like, I feel like if it's on Groupon, it's gotta be for a reason. No, 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 no. I mean, you're still paying a lot of money. Like, types of things you